Hello everyone, welcome back to another Geo, Geo Statistics lecture video. In this lecture video, I want to continue our discussion talking about linear regression. Specifically, I want to now talk about how we can split the data for training and testing. Right, so splitting data for training and testing. So, if you remember back to our conceptual videos, one of the most important things we can do with a regression is to make sure that we are actually not um, overfitting our training data. And one of the ways that we do that is through the separation of our data initially into a training and a testing data set. So this is actually going to be pretty straightforward to do. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set .seed. And this basically ensures that as long as we run this code, we will always get the same result because we're setting the um, random seed generation um, every time. So the first thing we need to do is get the number of uh, observations in the data set. Okay. And that is done through the dim command, which again, takes in an x, we're going to pass in our um, Satosa data. So actually that's a good point. If you aren't familiar with the results from the previous video where we tested the assumptions of regression, we created this Satosa data set which was basically a subset of the iris data set to only have one species and the fifth column removed. So this is going to return the dimensions of the uh, data frame, and we only want the number of rows, which is the first uh, first index of the dimension. So this is going to give us the number, and so if we look over here, 50, which matches up perfectly with the um, number of observations in Satosa. So that's all good. Uh, generating a random number is actually, or a random subset is actually really easy. In base R, we're going to create a variable called samp, and this is going to hold our sample. And we literally, in base R, call a function called sample. And actually, before we run it, let's go ahead and do this. So sample right, takes in a specified number of elements and returns a subsample of them with or without replacement. So we are obviously going to want to use false for replacement because we don't want to pick the same element twice. So again, it takes in x, it takes in the size, and it takes in, in this case, replace equals false so that we are not replicating observations. So x is going to be the thing that we want to sample from. And because we want to sample from a list of observations, we simply want to pass in a um, vector of um, integers from 1 to the length of our observations. So this is going to be from 1 to 50. It's going to take out how many we want. Well, I generally prefer to do something like um, 75, 25. So we're going to divide our sample by f our number of observations by four. So this is going to be the um, testing sample. Okay. So this, what this is going to do is it's going to go in and it's going to sample out of a vector of 1 to the 250, because 50 is the number of observations we have, it's going to pull out what would be 1 fourth of those. So that's going to be, um, if we run this code, right, it's going to be 12, okay? Because 12 is uh, 50 divided by 4 rounded. So now we have to actually extract those. So we're going to do test based on sample, 
And to do that, we're going to call Satosa. And the way this works is we're going to index. We want the rows indexed at SAMP because, again, SAMP, if we look over here, is just a um, vector of indexes, right? Because we sampled from a vector of um, numbers between 1 and 50. We randomly pulled out 12 of them, and those are going to be the indexes of our testing data. So we want to pull out of Satosa the indexes of SAMP, and we want to keep all of the rows. So this is the testing data, and the training data is going to be the exact opposite. So we're going to do Satosa indexed. Now a nice thing with R, if you remember back to when we talked about how to index data frames, is if we put a negative sign there and then SAMP, it's going to take all of the data that is not, it's going to remove those data. So this is going to give me all of the columns for the rows that are not SAMP. So this is going to be our training data. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, just to recap, we got the number of we got the number of observations in a way that R could read, and then we generated based on those observations a random subsampling of one quarter of the data that we then used to generate a testing data, and then we removed them to create the training data. So we have two different data sets: training data set with most of the data, and then a testing data set with the remainder of the data. So hopefully that makes sense. And as always, if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.